the concept. Let us first understand what is a debenture and why are debentures issued. Say for example, a company needs funds, maybe 500 crores. How does it raise these funds? What are the options that it has? It could issue shares to the public. Could be in the form of preference shares or equity shares. Or maybe they could go to the bank and try to take a loan. Go to a couple of banks since the amount is huge at 500 crores. Maybe go to two, three banks and take a loan. Another option is to raise loans from the public. Debentures are nothing but loan from public. Just like a company can raise money by the issue of equity shares, a company can also raise money from the issue of debentures, which are actually nothing but a loan given by the public. The advantage in this case is that debentures may be of different denominations. We may have denomination of 100 or a denomination of 1000 or a denomination of 10,000. Let's say a company has debentures of a denomination of 1000. I as an investor may buy 10 debentures of 1000 each and therefore invest 10,000. Another investor may buy 100 debentures of 1000 each and therefore invest 1 lakh. Therefore, money from a large number of people can be raised. Debentures are also called bonds. So what is a debenture actually? Debenture is nothing but loan which is raised by a company from the general public. Thus, a company may find it convenient to raise loan in the form of debentures. Let us look at it from an investor's point of view. Why would somebody invest in debentures? An investor may put his money in the national saving certificate and get a return of 8 or 8.5% 8 per annum. His money is very safe. National saving certificate are issued by the government. He gets a fixed return of 8.5% and there is hardly any risk related to it since the funds are with the government. <clears throat> if a person were to invest in a fixed deposit with a bank. Maybe he would get 9%, anything from 8.5 to 9.5%. They may get slightly higher returns. Fixed deposit is also safer than other forms of investment. But national savings certificate would be considered more safe, less risky than a fixed deposit with a private bank. A third option is debentures. In a debentures, the return would be higher. Of course, it would be a little more risky than perhaps the national saving certificate or a fixed deposits with a bank. Debentures but are usually secured debentures which means they are secured with a charge on the assets of the company. So usually debentures are considered not very risky or not as risky as maybe investing in shares of a company. Therefore, in all the three, there is a risk and return trade-off. Higher the risks, higher the return. So for an investor who wants a fixed rate of return, he may put in money, in the National Savings Certificate, very safe but with a lower rate of interest or in a fixed deposit with a slightly higher rate of interest but maybe a little more risky or with the debentures with a still better rate of return but maybe more risky than either the National Savings Certificate or fixed deposits. Several companies issue debentures 
and they have yields from anything between 11 to 30%.